everyone. Good morning. Uh, first of all, I would like to take this opportunity to thank Sir David, uh, Rubin, Sam, and others uh, volunteers to make today's happen. And I have uh, such a great opportunity to stand on, on this stage uh, to share with you my case study. So give a round of applause to those who make it happen today. Thank you. Thank you. My name is Li Wai Hong. I would like to share with you today my topic, WordPress on the Google Cloud Platform. I understand that most of you is a WordPress developer, and me too as a WordPress developer for more than 10 years. I've been starting my career as a developer, uh, as a web developer, I would call myself a web designer, web developer, anything. All right? <laughs> everything I know a little bit, but not everything. Uh, but not deep enough for it. So I don't know what it called myself is, but however, I'm able to finish a website and I've been using WordPress uh, since 10 years ago. So I always want to have an opportunity to say thank you to this little W. Because for the past 10 years, this WordPress actually fit my food, pay my loan, and now raise my kids. So I always thank you automatically. <laughs> This is one of the most uh, important software that can change my life. And it's actually redefined the way that people who, uh, our developer who, our developer who are going to develop the website. I think now, uh, as, as, my, as I know, it's uh, more than a half website in the internet is actually based on the WordPress platform. I run a small uh, web development firms and just now like uh, what Sam introduced uh, more than 200 websites that I've done and I also is a former control promoter of the KLSEIH KLSEIH uh, and is there any uh, of you know, uh, know this building? Uh, saw this building before in the KL Center? It's called, in the Chinese it's called the Zhonghua Da Hui Tang it's a Kuala Lumpur Chinese, uh, Kuala Lumpur Selangor Chinese Assembly Hall. So I am the I'm the control uh, promoter of the youth section. So for those who are just well, uh, not uh, it's a foreigner first come first time to Malaysia, I will urge you to go and visit our what we call the Chinese China, China Cow uh, in, in the Petaling Street. Okay, I, so. The KLSCHU is actually is an NGO, which is our we define ourselves as a catalyst of the social change since 1985. We are actually conduct the seminar uh, regarding the human rights and the uh, demo democratics and to help the people, the, the, the youth know what is your right and how we can make the world better. And Fortunately, on the last G14, we have an uh, opportunity to contribute ourselves and as well as the work process. We have uh, conduct a project called Undi Rabu. Uh, <laughs> any, any guys of you uh, heard about the Undi Rabu? It's actually, yeah, yeah, thank you, thank you. So actually, it's a, it's a free uh, Free vehicle. We, we provide a free bus to, uh, to those who the voter who are not able to, to get a bus ticket to go back to cast their vote. So when the time uh, on the time the BN government say that oh okay they decide not the BN government but at, at, at SPR they are decide that uh, the, the 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 date is on is on the Rabu. So I think many people will be disappointed because they are not able to go back and cast their vote. So at the time. We say that why not we do a crowdfunding project. We ask the people to raise and to give us the money and we actually to rent the bus and ferry the voter go back to home and do the and uh, exercise their, their duty as a citizen. So once we have a, so on that time we do have a, a, a crowdfunding. We do a crowdfunding and thank God uh, it's very overwhelming over it's very warm response from the public. So we have actually at the, at the beginning we only our end is only say that uh, we want to raise uh, forty thousand. 
and about 10 bars, then we just say that, okay, that 10 bars will be enough. But we already uh, hit our target within the 40, 24 hours after the, this uh, press conference has announced. So at the, at the end of the day, we have a uh, do uh, we have a raise about two hundred thousand and more than more than more than uh, fifty bars that we have ran and to provide the people in order for them to go back their home to work and go back the country <laughs> to go back the city to work. So thanks to Malaysia, you are doing good, do good, and do a good, a good job for it. And also because of this uh, project. We also help the people who are not able to come back to Malaysia to work and ferry their uh, their, their ballot from overseas to their to their to their hometown. So this is what we call the amazing race for the Malaysian people. So thanks again, Malaysia. You're amazing. And at last, we actually uh, achieved something. So this is uh, what we have raised total expenses and. The most, the most part is a public mass that we have, we have, we have, we have contributed, we have paid for. So, as a web developer, how we can contribute our 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 skill on this project? I'm at, at the time I'm the chief of the Katua, I'm 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 be the Katua promoter of the of this project and the leader of this project. Say that uh, actually <laughs> at the beginning is actually uh, we are thinking simple. So if you want to. Because it's a free bus, man. So if you want to uh, take part of it, just go to our website. Uh, just we just make a Google form. You you just put your name and your IC. Then we give you a uh, we just provide you a, a bus. But after that, we think this might not work because it's not about it's not four hundred people. It's a uh, thousand or two thousand people. <laughs> We're going to. Uh, to, to check the availability of the ticket and check the availability of the of the route. So as a web developer, what is your solution? So what is your solution? Of course, first I I will stick on the WordPress because the WordPress you it can it can give us a very quick time to finish a website within within a, an hour. Do you agree, guy? Yes. <laughs> so this is the benefit of the website. So. Huh? <laughs> Within an hour, right? So, if you want to have an inventory system that uh, to show how many tickets left for the for, 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 for the route, what solution you're going to it? Any idea? What solution? In the first first off on your mind, what plugin that we want to use for 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 that? Any idea? Yes. Thanks for the WooCommerce. I will be new WooCommerce for the for, for the inventory project. Alright, so the people once they are logged into our website, they are able to choose their route. It's just like this is a route uh, like just a product. So this is a product that uh, show you how many uh, itinerary, uh, how many inventory that we still have, how many tickets we left for that route. So thanks for WooCommerce. Uh, we able to actually to give this platform to work within three days. Within three days, from from very beginning that uh, we decide switch from the Google form to the <laughs> to the to the, to the WordPress. It actually takes uh, three days when we finish the project. So this is the ticket that they have. After they sign out, then we use a we we use a plugin called Full Event, and they were able to get a ticket like this. They were it's a, it's a bank barcode and all the itinerary they will get an email and they are able to send uh, the send on the web uh, the, the, the the phone as well. Alright, so this is the plugin and the solution I use for it. So maybe you can have a look. WooCommerce and this I will talk talk talk, talk, talk later. WP Stateless, Cloudflare, Cloudflare, Every Messenger. This is very important, you know. Just now, uh, I think one of the speakers say that the support is very important, especially you have a, such a uh, big project. You want to, you have a, every people will come go and ask you the, the uh, a lot of questions. They will ask uh, whether is it a really a free or whether 
uh, still available la. I said you can check on the website so I don't know I, I, I don't know go to the website la. then how, 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 how come how come you can you can you can reach us on, on, on there so we decide that we use the FP messenger because FP messenger uh, is very I think most of the Malaysian have their uh, Facebook Facebook account so this is one of the support system that we use on that time and the full event which is uh, we use to generate the ticket that I showed you just now. And of course, Jetpack. <laughs> they do a very strong backup and uh, statistic uh, change uh, uh, track for us. We also use the GA, Google Cloud or Google Analytics Day, but we decide to, but somehow I found that uh, some of the browser that brought the GA uh, because of the JavaScript, I don't know what. So, uh, maybe the Jetpack that yeah, provides us the most reliable uh, source and the tracking system for uh, on, on the time. Uh, this is we use it for our daily backup. So we subscribe for this uh, uh, the, the, the service and we do the daily backup as well as uh, it has a package. It's a real time backup as well. So if you guy running a big uh, pro mega project, then actually you can consider this one. So this that's all. That's all the plugin that I have. That's all the plugin that I use for the for the project. Because as like uh, I agree, Lola said just now, mentioned just now, the less plugin you use, the uh, the past the the the, the, the headache you, you you have. <laughs> so okay, so this is the plugin that I use. So first, that are in my mind that uh, if we have if we. Uh, on my past experience, actually, I don't have, uh, I don't face such a huge traffic coming before, because most of a uh, developer we develop a website. Maybe at the uh, at one time you have a ten user, a uh, hundred user to your website is already recorded. We're happy already, you know. But on that time, we are not only facing the huge amount of the traffic to coming in our website, but we are also facing some of the cyber attack. From don't know who, <laughs> yeah, don't know, from, from don't know who. So when the time uh, the website goes up, goes up already within within five minutes already hang out. <laughs> so we have to take down and think about the, the solution that we have. So uh, this is the solution that we use in the in the final stage. First, we divert our domain undirabu.com and we use the cloud flare. Thanks, Cloudflare. They do an amazing job to protect us from the DDoS uh, attack. Attack. So you just pay a few, uh, maybe they have a, uh, a package of uh, twenty bucks a month, and then you will actually they have the app to actually block the attempt to your to 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 to, to attack your website. They will they will detect uh, whether this IP and this pattern of uh, login is from the child. We on that time we have uh, a lot of. Uh, Attack from Russia and China, so most of most of the traffic uh, attack is from these uh, two two countries. I don't know why. So, and after that, we decide to use the Google Cloud platform. It's because the Google Cloud platform is allow us to actually uh, to change our machine that we when, when the time we need uh, the machine type. For example, uh, when this time you if you have a low budget. Properly, you have you only make, you are, you can able to build a small machine with a one CPU. But when the time you have a large of a traffic coming out, you want to at the time you, you you are able to upgrade your machine seamlessly, easily by maybe within a, a, a ten minutes. Then you can upgrade your machine from one CPU up to I mean eighty CPU, eight zero CPU machine. It's a few machine. Of course, it will cost you as well. La. <laughs> it will cost you as well. You count by minutes uh, how many uh, resources they use to Google. So, why I choose Google is because they are the, according, according to them, it's a low latency network that they have. And the Google Cloud Platform is where the YouTube and the, your Gmail host by. So, and of course, they have a 15, I think they have a 15 uh, uh, Google farm. Uh, around the world, the, the, the nearest one is, is, is on the Singapore. It's on the Singapore. If you choose the Singapore one, 
I will guarantee you it's, uh, it's, it's, it's fast, fast enough. Of course, you also can choose Exabyte. Exabyte also is doing a very excellent <laughs> job, right? <laughs> yes. All right. So this is how I uh, divert, how I separate my WordPress into two, into three different server. As you all know, we, when we uh, develop a website, we use Google, uh, WordPress to develop a website, uh, we all actually put everything, our uh, database, our WP content, all of you know the WP content, right? <laughs> who, who don't know the WP content? Uh, then there will be a new, uh, new bike. So, and our logic, our apps, and we put all in one server. So it's actually easily to heat up the server and it will easily burn up the server. Uh, so this is how I actually split uh, the three different parts from, uh, from the application to three different server, which is all Google have uh, provided this infrastructure for, uh, already have. First of all, first, I will put my app server, my app server, I put it on the compute web engine. Later I will show you how easily you can uh, you can you can set up a website using the compute web engine. And secondly, I split my my SQL server to the Google Cloud SQL server. And Google Cloud SQL server because um, it's on the Google, so you actually <laughs> you no need to worry about uh, they will overheat. Okay, they will scale and use, uh, using their actually their their, their technology lah. And the third one is the WP content. I stored it on the, I use it the storage bucket server. So, uh, any, if, you, if, you, if you're familiar with the Google Cloud uh, Platform products, then you know that uh, this storage bucket is actually like a G drive. It's like a G drive. You can store everything, so you can separate actually your WP content, your image file to this uh, storage bucket server. So the advantage to doing this it's actually when the when your server, this one, the app server, you suddenly you get a lot of a huge amounts coming in. You can actually use the load balancer and separate from uh, from from, from uh, you can add on your machine time to time to 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 uh, yeah to, to to face the uh, the, the uh, challenge you have. Alright, so this is the diagram that you have. The loop balancer, the app, which is I say, you can separate on the uh, different machine. And actually, because you are, this machine is not, uh, this database is not on the same machine, it's on somewhere around. So you can actually use your database and file, file system, and you can actually handle a large of a, a bound of a traffic. Alright, so this is uh, the, the technology and architecture that I will be used on that time to handle the udiragu.com, the, the, the chapter of the udiragu.com. So again, this is the plugin and this is the uh, elements that I, that I use on that time. So maybe this is not the good, uh, the, the best solution for it, but so far, that's my experience. I know that and they have a, some, something called the Docker. Every, uh, any guys know hear about the doc, uh, Docker? Yes, a Docker, Cooper, Tino, uh, yeah, Docker. So they have another uh, advanced technology to for for the big company to actually scaling their, their their machine. So I will do a quick demo and how you can set up your WordPress in a Google Cloud platform within a five minutes, right? So. Uh, of course, I, I will do a re video recording uh, because I, <laughs> yeah. So this is uh, how, how, how it works. First of all, you go to the Google Cloud and then you sign in with your account. What's your, what's your password? Yeah, my password is, yeah, this is my password. All right, so after that, you go to the console on the top, of, top right of it. And the time, uh, you will see your dashboard, everything, how, how, what is the resources that you consume for your, for, your, for your website. And then you go to the compute engine, VM ins instances. Once you select the instances, you click on the create instance. 
and you have you okay. I have to the I don't know how to pause, but uh, just uh, what, 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 I'm, <laughs> what I'm trying to say is uh, usually you what we are thinking about is have a website, uh, set up a server, you have to do end to end, you have to install the the, the Apache server, you have to install the PHP my admin, everything. But thank God, uh, Google they have one amazing uh, feature called the uh, marketplace. So this is the marketplace. So dashboard. Right, compute engine, real in virtual machine instance, yes. Okay, create instance. Great. So this way is the magic comes from. You go to the marketplace and you search for you know WordPress. Yes. <laughs> you search for WordPress, they have a lot of uh, uh, option of the, of this one, but what I would recommend is uh, you use this one, the WordPress LEMP. So it's actually built with the latest PHP server version, and then you can actually just a, a click away, launch on the Google, Google uh, Compute Engine, wait for, and then you can choose with the type of your machine. And this is important. You have to choose your June properly because this is a. Uh, this is very important that uh, you uh, on the next step you connect with your uh, MySQL database. You have to put it on the same re uh, same region. So one click away. So you just what you do is just wait, uh -huh. and then the machine will set up itself. It will install the Apache server. It will install the PHP. It will install the OS. It will install the WordPress. As well as uh, you will install the MySQL on the very initial stage for you to to to, to have an initial initial run. So you see, uh, just in, this one you will take about uh, three minutes to set up your machine. As soon as the machine is set up, you will, you get built, right? So you have the machine set up. So yeah, as soon as you got your IP, so see how fast and how convenient the Google Cloud Platform. Uh, Give a good. So this is all. Yeah. That's it. So you can have your own self-host website on the Google Cloud Platform just within three minutes. So this is a demo that uh, yeah. I mean every criteria that you have is on on there. Great. It's because uh, it's host on the Google, it's host on the US. It's maybe the same server with uh, WordPress. So when you do the update, you download the plugin, it's actually it's super fast. <laughs> it's actually super fast. All right, so this is the demo that we have to set up your website within three minutes on the Google Cloud Platform. On the next demo, I will show you, uh, just now we say that we offer our Google, our our SQL server in a different server, right? So I will show you in the same pattern how we can set our uh, SQL server within five minutes. So at the same, you go to the dashboard, choose the SQL server. Yeah, I already pinned on the top. So you choose SQL server, and it creates the instances uh, as as same as what we done before. Yeah, you can choose the legacy version, or you can choose the second second MySQL second generation uh, generation version. Make some option. You can set a password if you do if you. Uh, want to give the call over, then you can actually give it blind. Yeah, this is a region that uh, what, I, what I mentioned just now. You have to make sure your MySQL server is the same in, in the same region that your virtual machine in, uh, is on the same same uh, same same region. If if they are, if if not, they will not get connected, and it uh, it's, it's not it will it will not work. 
you will not work it. So they are setting up the web. And this is take, taking lo longer than, uh, than, than, than I expect. Lah. So they are actually set up the MySQL server, set up the, the, the every OS that you have. But this server is just purposely for the MySQL purpose. Right? They didn't do any other uh, logic and they didn't do any other uh, uh, work except, uh, except, except the MySQL. So you can actually separate the three different parts of, of, of your WordPress and then in, in the three different server. Yeah, so you have, this is a I, I, I should cut it, cut it, cut it short. So, fast forward. It's very embarrassing. I don't know what to, what, what, what I have to say, say now. Or oh, I sing a song. <laughs> okay. So it's actually taking, uh, it's taking a while for them to set up a server. Yeah. On the amazing race, on the time when we, when we, when we do the, uh, we fabric the better from overseas. So actually it's really an amazing race. I will urge your guy if you never if you want to know our story, don't go and watch a movie, the Tini Okay. <laughs> you go you go Google and you you you, you search for the you, you search you go YouTube and say you search for the amazing race Malaysia. Malaysia an amazing race. So you can have you can know the real people how they are Carry, how they are carry the, the, the ballot and meet the people, meet another people, meet another stranger on the plane that actually that you know each other. But on that time, very touching moment is uh, you are actually handed a parcel to another stranger in a plane, in the in 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 airplane. You know, you know them, you, you don't know them, you don't know what is inside the, the envelope. It's probably any, any, uh, yeah. So you don't know, but all that time, uh, actually people trust each other very well. So they are willing to carry their ballot back to Malaysia. Uh, they are still moving, okay. <laughs> so, okay, well, so, well, maybe you can tell us uh, why you want to put the MySQL server on a different server. Oh, this is because uh, if, if let's say you want to add another logic server, app server, right. so if you, if, on, on the time, if you duplicate another server, then how about your database? You can't do it on the real time. So this is why we separate the, the, the MySQL server in, uh, to, to another server. So this is when you add on three machine, four machine, five machine, you still save, you, you're still able to share the same database. So this is what we did, what, 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 I, what, we, what my intention. So, okay, after you have uh, set up your server, the last thing is connect your server to the uh, uh, connect your my WordPress to the server. So this is very simple. Um, so <laughs> it just show a picture, a few code, but actually it's actually take a lot of work as you, you need you need to uh, have knowledge about how you can SS hash and some knowledge how you can use a VI and uh, knowledge that uh, how you can command not, not using the graphic user interface but command to, <laughs> to, to do the things so this is the binder that uh, you actually just change your local host w, uh, this is a wp-config.php you change your local host and to the IP that you have just now alright so this is basically all the uh, all, all the mechanism is work on odirabu.com. Thank you, and and again, thanks for the uh, opportunity given to have for, uh, to have me here to share my experience on it. Thank you. Thank you very much.